guys, let me get your attention here. Everybody look up here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on confidence and we're going to work on establishing better hand communication. All right, so like I said yesterday, dogs have four different types of drives. They have pack drive, which is the willingness to work for you. They have prey drive, which is the w most aggressive of all the drives, and that's the one where they seek and destroy. <laughs> and they have aggression, and they have defense. And I need to know what levels we have of each dog so I can use that to my advantage. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see what their prey drive is. And I'm going to use this little cat toy in order to do that. And if I can get their attention and you can see how strong it is, like this one here does not have strong prey drive. So you're hoping that it has good pack drive, which is the willingness to work for you. Okay, so we'll come over here and see what the prey drive is on this one, which looks like it's a little bit better, but not completely. Okay, we'll come over here and see what the prey drive is on this one. Oh, see the difference there? Yeah. Okay, so this one here has a little bit stronger prey drive. We may be able to use that at our advantage if the dog doesn't want to be part, a participant with the pack drive. Like for instance, if this dog doesn't have a willingness to want to work for me in hand communication, which actually it's got strong pack drive too, what I could do is I could switch over and until I get that respect and trust built, I'll use a little bit of the prey drive to work with my pack drive. Does that make sense? Okay, let's check the little pug over here and see what you've got. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can actually look at the look at the prey drive in this pug. That's awesome. Woohoo! Yay! That's great. Woohoo! Yes, get it, get the baby, get the baby. Woo! No. So, so far the pug has the biggest prey drive out of all of them in here. Okay, little Manchester there. Here, let's go. Here it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's good. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Okay. It's not real. It's not real. It's not flying. It doesn't have a heartbeat, so forget it. So, so far, the pug is the, whoa! <laughs> Bulldog says, yeah, right, boom. So the, the, the pug and the bullies have some pretty strong drive. How will prey drive help you in training a dog? Does anybody have any idea? Great for getting attention. So you know that if you're having problems establishing hand communication and getting a dog to do something, you might be able to switch over to a tool like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me see the pug and I want to get the, just follow my hand. Okay. What's your dog's name? Troy. 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 Come on. Good, good. Troy. Come on, Troy. Come on, Troy. Good, good, good. Troy. No, Come on, Troy. Come on, Troy. So Troy is a little weak in the pack drive. There we go. That's good. Troy. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I already tried that. Didn't like that that much. Didn't like that. So we need to find something. Oh, that's good. Okay. Troy, come on. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Troy, come on. Good, 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 good. Yeah. So Troy actually has good pack drive and good prey drive. So you have a great dog to start off on here. What I want you guys to do is go from station to station. Let them follow your lead hands so you can establish that good communication there. Come on, Troy. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that was good. So you're developing communication and that pack drive at the same time. If a dog is just like attacking that, they got high prey drive. If they're noticing it, then that's good. And you can see, you can start to develop that prey drive so you can increase that. And look at the intensity of the dog when I do that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we'll check this one out here. Whoa! This is a dog that was asleep yesterday, but it has high prey drive. Whoa! That was good, and it's pretty fast, too. There's no birds that are safe in your area, huh? Okay, so let's check the prey drive on this bulldog over here. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad. Okay, here's this other one here. Oh, so you can check each dog and then here, this one's, hello, McFly. <laughs> All right, so prey drive is, look at that. So she's got great prey drive. That's something you could use in the ring. Okay, let's check the soft-coated Wheaton for prey drive. 
She can't see it. She can't see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. So as long as it's touching her, that's not bad. But this is a really good opportunity to kind of see where your dog fits in as far as prey drive goes. It's a good idea if you have a good sized piece of bait or some bait with you because at the same time you can start to develop hand communication. Okay, so I'm going to borrow your, my soft coated Wheaton because I love you and you're going to be mine for right now. And I'm not going to take up all the lead, but I want to get this dog to trust me and go on surfaces that are a little bit different and challenging. That is fantastic. Good job. Oh, that's great. Okay, follow my hand. Come over here. Good. Good. Very nice. Oh, that's good. That's great. That's fantastic. So we're building confidence and we're having great communication. Okay, let's way. Come on. Oh, you're going to do it your way. That's good. <laughs> That's because you're a terrier. Okay, up here. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fantastic. Stand. Stand. Oh, that's great. Now look at the focus I'm getting out of this dog. So I'm getting great communication. I'm building respect. I'm building trust. We're on different surfaces, so we don't have to concentrate on being bad because we're concentrating on actually standing. Good. Now come down. This way. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you going to eat all the crumbs first? Good. Okay. Over here. Over here. Good job. That's fantastic there. Good. Back up a little bit. Yeah. That was great. Look at the focus and intensity on this dog right here. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Good, 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 yay, that was good. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're doing these things, we're trying different things out, there's no right or wrong, we're just getting really a lot of fun, good hand communication, and earning that respect and trust. See, try to get her to put her paws up on here. Come on, Haley. Haley, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, Haley. Come on, come on. Haley, step right here. Step right there. Come on, Haley. No, she's being stubborn. Is that all? Yeah. Yay! Now reward her. Fantastic. Good job. Yep. Very good. Now the second they get on that next obstacle, you want to reward them. And you want that lead to be loose the whole time. Because you remember, you're establishing communication with that hand. So guide, guide her on there with the hand. <laughs> like, like this. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Good. That was great. And the second they do that, you reward them for that. And you want to do that with a loose lead so you're using your hand communication. Good. Good this for the stubborn one here. <laughs> She's not afraid of anything. So it's, it's not being afraid. Oh. What it is is being stubborn. So when you get to the point where you're starting to actually be the leader here, where you're the one in charge, then she will do what you want her to do. But she's putting her own twist on it. What's her name again? Kaylee. 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 Here you go, Kaylee. Here you go, Kaylee. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. She knows we want her to step on there, so she's not doing it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. But we're going to use prey drive to kind of add our advantage. Good girl, Kaylee. Good girl. Good girl. That was very good. Okay, so the second she steps on that, I'm going to reward her. Oh, that was close. Oh, good girl, Kaylee. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Very nice. So this is kind of a gauge to let you know how much she respects and trusts you. When she hops from, from station to station, then now you got a dog who's willing to work for you in that ring. But right now she's saying, I'm going to do what I want to do. And she's not going to give you 100%. That help? Yeah. Okay. Good. Just kind of, kind of let her make the decision. You help. But she wanted that treat real bad. Oh yeah, I Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Look at how she comes alive with that. She's got No, she'll still figure out that we want her to be there. 
So she's so here's where we have a situation with a dog with great prey drive, but no pack drive. The pack drive means that their willingness to work for you. So we have great prey drive, but we need to work on that pack drive. Good. So that's what you're going to start to build up when you do stuff like this. Okay. Anytime she touches a platform, gets on the platform a little bit more, then you like it. There, give her a treat. Give her a treat. Good. Good. No, that's good. Grab me that one right there. You got it. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good Good job, baby. Yeah. It really does work. It does work. And yeah, anything, anything, any positive forward movement. See, what she's lacking in pack drive, I'm using the advantage of her prey drive to try to get that to start working. Good. There you go. See that? See that? So you evaluate their drives. Ag aggression, defense, pack, and prey. And she's stronger on her prey drive, so I'm going to use that to my advantage in training her for the pack drive that she's lacking. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. But and did I create the lack of pay, um Pack drive? I mean, how did well, that? no, your breed kind of created that. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have pack drive because she's very independent. Oh, for sure. And once you do the head straight good, and once good. you do all these exercises oh, yeah. to get her to the point, yeah. then you're going to increase her pack drive, which is the willingness to work for you. Oh, okay. And I'm using the prey drive to get her to that point. So, do you want to play with this a little bit? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank there you go. Come on, Haley. I normally Okay, so tell me what's going on with you and this dog. I think he's doing well actually. Okay. So it's okay. This this way to go. Yep, this your palm goes forward when you want to go forward. When you want the dog to go more in that direction, you turn your palm out like this. And that keeps your dog saying, I want you over there. If your dog's too far out and you want your dog in, then you pull it in like this. If you want your dog to stop, then your palm is backwards like this. So I take my dog and palm forward to come over the obstacles. So go ahead and give that a try. That's one way. <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay, so try it again. Good. Very good. That was fantastic. That was good. Good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Beautiful. See, that time it was even easier. That's fantastic. Great. Okay. So have we tried here? Um, uh, yeah, she got on the balance pad. Uh-huh. She couldn't get to the purple one. Well, let's try that. Now remember, lead her with your hand. Don't break that communication. This way, good girl. Hey, this way, this way, this way. Come on, This way. Okay. So tell me here what you're seeing. If you can get her to consistently go from station to station, do you feel that that will help you in the ring? How will it help you in the ring? It will help me with communication. Yep, because your dog's willing to do things and work for you. But if you have a dog that won't go from station to station, you're not going to have a dog in the ring that will communicate with you and won't follow your instructions. This is called pack drive. The lack of pack drive means your dog is not willing to work with you as a pack. And then if you have prey drive, like with a feather, Sometimes you can use that to your advantage, okay. but she's just being totally completely stubborn So this is like a gauge that's telling you you really got to get that relationship going before you'll get her to work for you in the ring Right good. Let me show you something here. Please do well, one of the things that I'm seeing with you is you're right on top of your dog So being on top of your dog puts pressure on them so what I want to do is I wanted to get her to do this with just my hand communication. Let's go. Come on. Good, 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 good. Yay! That was good. And let me give you a treat to reward you. Oh, that's fantastic. 
Okay, now watch this. I put the treat in my lead hand. Now I have communication. Let's go. Good, 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 Yay! That was fantastic. But if I'm over the top of her like this. Well, I've been I just wanted to get all three. Okay, but here's the thing. I don't care if she gets all three. I just want her to follow my hand. That's the goal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. See, one of them. That's that's good right there. Okay, let's go. Good, 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 good. Yeah, one of them. That's good right there. I'm not worried about that. The goal is just to get her to follow my hand. Later on, if she gets all three, that's even better. Okay. Okay. Why are you sleeping over here? She's done everything. She's doing pretty good. Well, keep doing. Keep, know, keep, keep, keep doing. keep going. Keep going. She wants to do more, and you're falling asleep over there. Look at this. Come on. 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 Good. Oh my goodness. Look at you. That's fantastic. I know. Yay. Come this way. Good. 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 Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Woohoo! Good job. See that? Make it fun for her. You should have the bait in your lead hand. Because remember, you're establishing that communication with your lead hand. Very nice. Okay, don't stay on any one station too long. You want to switch to the next station. You want to make this quick and fun. But this is an amazing gauge that will tell you where your weak points are. If you have a dog that is not willing to go on these stations, then you have a dog that's not going to be showing for you very well in the ring. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Don't get frustrated if your dog's not working for you. Just keep it in stages and let it go from step to step. You, this is just giving you an idea of where you're lacking with workmanship with this dog. Fantastic. Ooh, great job with that pug. Oh, fantastic. Are you working well for mommy? Are you doing working well? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. That's a cool sit. There, good job with that bulldog. Yay! Look at that. Woohoo! Did you see how Patty kept her hand right in front of that dog's face? Yeah. Where you're getting the dog to start to follow you, but as soon as you break communication, he goes he does his own thing. Stop looking at your dog so much. Okay. Yeah. Okay, listen up guys. You can keep doing what you're doing, but listen to me. If you establish too much eye contact, you're defeating the purpose of them trying to and teaching them to follow your hand. So make sure that it's hand communication, not eye communication. That's fantastic. Keep that hand close. Keep it close. Good, good, good. Keep it close. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Woohoo! That was fantastic. That's great. See, you've accomplished a lot right there. There it is. There it is. See, later on, you can separate that hand. But right now, you got to keep it close to get that communication going. Ooh, look at that stack. But shoulders square. There you go. There it is. She's waving like she's on a ship. Yeah, and kind of go back and forth. She was doing that as well. And you'll see those muscles really strengthen up for that body core there. So this is a great exercise, plus helping you with your free stacks. Good job. I'm going to steal that pug. That, that's a pretty, you know, that's a very pretty pug. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Very, very pretty pug. Yep. Thank you. And you are doing great for mommy over here. Yes. Oh, look at you. How pretty. That is a good game. See, this is a fun way to sneak in communication. You're pulling tight on that lead. Oh, nice. Good. Ooh, good job. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. 
Oh, trust very me, it was good. good. Oh, very good. Very, very <laughs> nice. Good. The more you can stop looking at them and the more you start using your hands, the faster you'll establish your communication. Mm -hmm. If you don't look at communication, or don't look at the eyes, mm -hmm. so look at the front. Yeah, I look right beyond. Okay. That's yeah, and use my peripheral today. vision. Go like that. Yep. You can feel them down there. Yeah, you can feel them, and you can see out of the corner of your eye how they're, they're looking, at. where they're at. Later on, when they're fully trained, it doesn't make a difference what you do. Okay. So, but for right now, you want them to know that this is the most important thing that there is right here. Okay. okay? Ooh, good job. That's fantastic. And if you guys keep this in mind when you're training, as far as this communication goes, you're really going to start going, ooh, leaps and bounds with these dogs. Yeah. One step at a time. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap things up here and switch you guys over to the next station where you're going to practice handling techniques, both in... Position one, position two, position three. You actually, you know five positions now, so practice all five positions. You can also practice entering the ring, anything you need that's gonna help you win later on when we do the competition. When I get done with group two, I'm gonna come over there and we're gonna do high speed photography with group one and we're gonna be able to see how you guys look when you're handling your dogs and gating. So you may wanna practice gating there a little bit too. Again, what's going to make this the best is if you communicate with your hand and not pulling with the lead. If you can get those dogs to really start working with hand communication, it will make the gate much better. You will see that when we take the pictures. Your area that you need to look good is this side stretch right here. We're going to take pictures. Maddie's going to take pictures of you and you're going to gate your dogs so you have to make sure your body posture is good your hand position is good your communication is good so your dog knows what you want that means if you want your dog to go forward where should your palm be facing forward if your dog is too close to you what do you do signal palm out if you want your dog to make this turn correctly signal turn so if you have everything where it needs to be and you have a good long stride, not little bitty steps, right here where the judge is looking, you should be looking spectacular. Everybody got that? Easy to do. Do you want to do a little test run first to see how you're doing before we do the official thing? Very nice. Okay, you did not turn your palm in and you need to move your dog because now she can't continue to run straight there. Okay, next. Nope. Okay, you guys, look at me. Watch my hand. You guys are coming around this corner like this. Where are you telling your dogs to go? You're telling your dogs to go this way. You're signaling palm out to make this turn. You're telling this dog turn like this. Signal, go straight. So that's what we're doing. Okay, next please. Okay, there was no communication whatsoever. Okay, go. Okay, okay, go. Okay, you ready? Go. Ready? Go. Much better. That was fantastic. Ready? So when we're doing this exercise, you need to look good here. So a couple of tips, I would back up when you start. That's going to set yourself up for the hand communication to establish it. Then it's your job to maintain that hand communication because here you're going to signal and you're going to turn your palm into the ring to make this, this turn. 
Once you make this turn, you're going to signal and go forward. At this point, you want your body straight up and down, your shoulders square, your hand low and away from your body. And that will allow you to have really, really good reach and drive right here. What are some things that are going to mess up your reach and drive? Bad hand communication. Bad hand communication. No communication, you're not going to be in sync with your dog. What else? Tight lead. Tight lead. You pull up tight on your lead, even a little tiny bit, and your dog is not going to fully reach. Yes? Eye contact. It's going to cause your dog to sidewind. You're looking at your dog, your dog's looking at you, and its butt's going to be out there. Tight lead can also cause pacing. So it's really good to have a loose lead right where the judge is looking. Okay, we're going to give you one practice run first. Make sure this area is clear. Everybody has to shift over. Don't make the judge tell you to move over. Okay, first dog please. <laughs> Good. Okay, next dog, please. Very nice. Ready? Next dog, please. Beautiful. Next dog, please. There is no hand communication. You just took that lead right over the top of your dog's head right there. Okay, next dog. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, next dog, please. Good. Next dog. Very nice. Good job. Okay, you were the first dog. Okay, do you all feel that you could have done that a little better or you think you mastered that? With your dog, you, you took your hand over its head. You did not communicate like you normally do for some reason. So I need good solid communication because I want that dog to look fantastic. I'm the judge and I want to pick that dog. So don't mess it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, first dog please. Very nice. Next dog please. Okay, next dog please. Stop eyeballing that dog. Hold on a second. Okay, you totally messed that dog up because you were eyeballing it so hard that that dog was looking only at your eyes the whole time it was gating right there. Do you guys see that? It only takes a fraction of a second to throw your dogs off. I know everybody at the dog shows are telling you, look at your dog, looking at your dog, but you can see the proof is in the pudding here. If you can get that dog to establish the communication with the hand, then you don't have to worry about anything. If you're looking at your dog and your dog's looking at you, how is it going to gate? Okay, next please. Longer lead. Much better that time. Woohoo! I'm glad you didn't mess my dog up. <laughs> okay, next please. Ooh, I'm liking what I see there. Good. Watch your palm. Good, good, good. That was almost perfect. That's the best I've seen you do. The one thing I want you to keep in mind now, I know chewing gum and rubbing your tummy and patting your head are tough, but what I want you to do is be more conscious of where your palm is at because you were gating like this the whole time. So it's signal, palm in, signal, palm forward. But I am so proud of you on that one. Okay, let me have my pro handler. Good, good, good. Signal, palm in. Beautiful turn right there. Woohoo! 
Okay, is that everybody? Okay, did you do it with your dog? Me? Yes. Uh, yeah, first, group. first group. Okay, everybody put your dogs away and let's go over to the next building and see how we did. <laughs> okay. Position one, head straight. I want foot placement good if your dog is not fighting you with their head. Okay, try to get the head straight. Show the treat. Okay, so we get this position here, and then we're going to get that muzzle straight. Just like that. Just like that. See that? Okay. Okay, you do that. Okay, that looks really good. Now let's do the advanced position of head straight, where we're doing the head straight, but more control by grabbing that chain towards the back. Keeping the pressure off the throat. Okay, your right hand should be underneath and your left hand is on the top. Okay, good. Very nice. That's excellent. Good job. Praise your dogs. Okay, let me see. Everybody stand up. Relax your dogs. Okay, I need this lane right here. So, yep, there you go. Okay, let me see this dog down and back, please. Where is your palm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like nowhere in Okay, well, how was your finish? Horrid. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> guys, everybody pay attention. You have one of two options for a finish. It's either your dog goes to the judge or you make that finish happen. One of the two. Okay, take your dog around to the end. Next dog, please. Watch your palm. Your, okay, down and back, please. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that was a good finish, but this is what I don't want. Remember stacking sideways? I want to see expression. So bring your dog back to me so I can see the expression on them. Okay, take your dog around to the end. Okay, did you signal for the dog to turn? How come? I was worried about the dog. You're worried about the other dog. I was worried about my dog's reaction to the other dog. Okay, but you still need to communicate. If you don't communicate, your dog is going to stop communicating with you. Okay, so let's take this dog down and back, please. Oh, that's much better, much better. Oh, good, a little treat for the trip back. <laughs> okay, let's see if he finds a treat. Oh, that's excellent. See what happens when you lengthen that lead? That was fantastic, whether you planned that or not. Really? <laughs> okay, but, but was there an advantage to letting all that lead out when you were gating? Yes. Yes, exactly. So you can say, Eric, you're a gene genius. <laughs> okay, grab your treat and take your dog around to the end, please. If you have a dog that's lagging and you got six foot of lead to work with, what happened? What did the dog do when she let all that lead out? It took off. But if she has it on a short lead, what's it going to do? It's going to pull back.
So that's the advantage of having the six foot of lead. Oh, you are so sexy. Okay, let's see this dog down and back, please. Hand communication. Oh, that's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, give me a good finish. Okay. She's looking for your food. I know, <laughs> and, and let, her, let her do that. You know, but one of the things that's killing you is you pulling back like this. If you're gonna pull back like this, then get back out of the way. Come back one more time. Stop pulling her with that lead. Now you're giving pressure on her and she wants to get away from you. There you go. Okay, let her come to me. See, that's so much better right there. That's fantastic. Here, get, give her a treat. Here, I'll give her a treat. Okay, you've got to stop pulling with that lead because you keep going like this. Yeah. And that's you, what you got to do is put the hand down with that lead and guide her around like this. And you're using that as more as a weapon. Yeah. So get her attention with that. Yep. Very nice, very nice. That was better, that was better. But, but what happens is every time you do this, you're taking a step backward. You've gotta stop pulling with that lead. Okay, let's take this dog down and back, please. Get that hand communication going. See, she's not looking at that hand at all. She's just kind of doing her own thing. So you may have to get a better treat in that hand. She's like, come with me. <laughs> you are just gorgeous. Yes, you are. Very nice. She was so, seeing my hand earlier because when I did this, just she was moving forward and I didn't want her to. Right. So, so you, you're, gate, you're going back to just gating her. And she's saying, come with me. You've got to get that hand communication going and get her to start following that hand. That's your goal right there. Okay, take her around to the end. Okay. Haley? I think if you can get her on a flat link, that might be better too. Yeah, I know. There's no flat link available for her. Okay, let's take this dog down and back, please. Ooh, bait. Very nice. Much nicer with your hand lower. Okay, so you're coming back to me. You got to make a decision. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, the dog did exactly what you wanted it to, what you told it to do. Okay, so that's good. I prefer seeing it like this. That way I can see expression. So you really don't have to back the dog up. All you got to do is this. Good. See, getting square on you right there. Good. Okay, take this dog around to the end, please. Palm in. Nope. You went like this. Palm in. Yeah, the other way. Look at me. Look at your watch. The other side of your watch. <laughs> it's like backwards day. <laughs> okay, let me see this dog down and back, please. Just go, just go. Bump her over. There it is. Good. Let her come to me. Let her come to me. Let her come to me. There it is. Good. See, you have a dog coming to the judge and you're trying to take over. That's the time when you step out of the picture and let her show herself. That make sense?
Okay, so I don't come in front of her and do it? Not if she's coming to your judge. Okay. Yeah. If she's coming to your judge and she, you're, you're sure she's going to stand in front of the judge okay. and say, here I am, you get out of that shot. Got it. Okay? okay? Try that one more time. And this time, back up and go. Don't squat down and beg her. Okay. Stand up tall and go. Okay. Back up and go. And go. Look at the difference. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bump her up. Good, good, good. There it is. There it is. So you had to you need to guide her over with your hand. Okay, so keep going. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to put this treat in my hand. Come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. This is it. Ah, 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 ah. Good, good, good. There it is. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. You got to get her bumped up here so she's in front. Turn back. What happened? Oh my goodness, you forgot about me. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. Very nice. Don't let her dictate what you're going to do. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Go with her and be good. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. There it is. Get that hand down. Get that hand down. Good, 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 good. Yes. Ta-da! There it is. That was good. Okay, give her a treat and take her to the end. Good baby. Good baby. Did you feel a difference there? Yeah, I did. See, what, what she was doing before is she was telling you when to stop. And then I listened to her. And you listen to her. So you got to be the handler. Okay, so back up, establish your communication, and take her to the end. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good, good, good. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There, beautiful. See, in the beginning, what you were doing was this. You're begging her to come. So she's thinking, look at that stack now. She wants a leader, and she wants treats to fall on the floor, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, they starve you! Look at the anorexia just oozing out of your body. Okay, let me see this dog down and back, please. Very nice. Good hand position, too. No, no, no. Get that hand down. There you go. Good. 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 Let her come to me because she's out in front. Here, call you a Brittany Bulldog. There you go. Okay, around to the end. And again, we don't need perfection in the beginning. Good. 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 Turn your palm. There it is, perfect. Okay, you were first, right? All right, position two, everybody. Spread out, give yourself lots of room. Ooh, very nice. P position three. Ooh, nice. That's position four, but that looks good. <laughs> okay, praise your dogs. Group two, grab your dogs. Group one, put your dogs away. Okay, everybody, position two. 
Spread out, give yourself lots of room, position two. I wish we would have got that stretch on video. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen. We could have won ten thousand dollars on funniest videos. <laughs> you were talking about how good he was. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's just demonstrating his stud dog quality there. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Not tight lead. Little, you're, when you're in position two, there should be a loop in front. Not a tight lead. And you should be standing perfectly straight up and down. Good posture in you. With a consistent stop sign. And the stop sign is in the non-lead hand. Very good. Everybody praise your dogs. Okay, go to position three. Nope. There you go. There you go. Good. Position three. You're in position two still, kind of. Position three is you tell your dog stay and you step out of the picture. So your dog's looking into the ring. And if you have to, you can throw a little piece of bait in front of them and tell them, watch it. And you want to do it in, in, right in front of the dog. If you do it crooked, they're going to go like this. So the bait should be in front of him. Good. <laughs> okay, that's still crooked. Oh, so right in, front. right in front. So they look straight down. He didn't see that. There it is, like that. Okay. We have an Akita. You have an Akita? Oh, that's your bait? Yeah. Oh, nice bait. Good. Okay, everybody, praise your dogs. Position one. Do the first position one, and then you'll do an advanced position one. Position one is the hand, head straight. Thank you. She's doing really good for you. Very nice. Okay, do the advanced, stop grabbing skin on the bulldog. Okay, do the advanced position one where you use your left hand to really support that head in the direction. There you go. So there's no pressure on that neck. Praise your dogs. Not so much eye contact. Come here for a second. <laughs> hard, hard to do, huh? <laughs> Just like her mom. <laughs> That's right. Okay, down and back, please. Ooh, nice, nice. Shake your hand. Oh, nice. Corbin, Corbin, Corbin. Yeah, he stopped too fast and he looked at you. Very nice. Okay, take Corbin around. Uh, your hand went over his head. Good. Okay, down and back, please. <laughs> That's called double handling. <laughs> She's doing better than yesterday. 
Oh, look at you. And she's got such a soft mouth. That's so no, cool. She does it. She's biting me. <laughs> she did? That's because she respects me. <laughs> yes. Okay, look at She gave me kisses and soft mouth. Oh, we're going to have some kisses. <laughs> Take her around, please. Come on. <laughs> You're her litter mate. <laughs> okay, next down and back, please. Oh, that is nice. Nice. Slowly turn. Slowly we turn. Okay, release her, release her, release her. I believe you should carry bait the wing for this reason. Yeah, well, it, that's an excuse. Yes. It has nothing to do with bait right there. Okay. okay, what you need to do is you need to learn to not look at her even for a second because she's trying to get to those eyes right there. I don't think I did. Yeah. Did I? Well, quick, quick little second. You'll see, you'll see that there. Because if I can get her here, now you can stand there and not let her jump on the judge. Stand. Over this. Back up. Back, back, back. Do that one more time. Go with her. Judge's cookies. Okay, don't look. You can't even accidentally look down towards her eyes. Okay, stop right where you're at. <laughs> that is so cute, baby. Yes. Okay, all the way around to the end. Go with her. Thank you. <laughs> Good. You guys see me shake my tail? All right. Down and back, please. Did you get that? <laughs> Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. She can learn. It's alive. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Oh, baby. That was fantastic. Okay, now don't blow it. Take her around. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at the turn. Look at the turn. Yeah, baby. Yeah, do the happy dance. <laughs> that was fantastic. No, it's not. You say, you, what you should be saying is, I can do that. Okay. Good. Let out some lead. Okay, I see exactly what's causing that now. Her name is Kay, like in what? Here's what's causing that. See where that leash is at right there on the top? And you go like this, and that dog throws its front. But what you, yep. So what you got to do, flat link would be much better. Yeah. Because here, you can get that forward motion going. But right now, he's used to having that lead tight, so he's going like this with that front. Okay. So a chain would be much better. Okay, so all the way around to the end. Keep your hand low. There it is, right there. Beautiful. See, he stopped that for a second, but you got to make sure that you don't pull him from the top like that. And that's where a chain will help you. Okay, take this dog down and back, please. Why do I always end up with these packets? <laughs> I am thinking you need to start becoming a professional bulldog handler. Because, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Husband, wife. He's going to gate the dog, and then you're going to grab the dog away from him, and you'll do the finish. Okay? Okay. Don't do what he just did. <laughs> okay, around to the end, please. Good. Palm into the ring. Yeah, there we go. 
and then give me some kind of a finish. Don't just stand there like, yeah, beautiful. See, your dog stopped. Then you need to get in front and pretend like you made that happen. <laughs> okay, you were the first, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, mother, daughter. <laughs> okay, what I want you to do is I want you to bring your dog out there and I want you to give me the most incredible position so I can pick this dog over all these other dogs. Oh, what happened as soon as you did what I told you not to do? Stay in front. Don't go to the side because that causes your dogs to creep. There it is. There it is. Where's your stop sign? See, guys, don't forget that stop sign. Okay, all the way to the end. Okay, next. Give me something incredible over there. You can do it. You can do it. We have faith in you. Okay, get that lead out of the way. That's distracting. That's actually not bad. I would try to create some distance so your dog's not looking straight up at you. Yeah. That looks really good. Good job. Give him a hand. Okay, around to the end. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Don't pull with that lead. Guide with that hand. Get them dogs to follow your hand. Good. Okay, next. Give me something spectacular, please. Where's your stop sign? There you go. Okay, good job. All the way around to the end. Nice. Okay, next please. <laughs> says, aren't we supposed to be on the table? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, see so you're doing all the instruction with your lead. I need you to do it with your body and your hand. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, all the way around to the end, please. Very nice. Okay, next, please. Okay, where's your stop sign? Keep that stop sign out there. And the other thing too, is you're moving your hand, but your palm is not telling the dog where to go. So you gotta remember those pictures. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, good job. Around, yep, around to the end. Watch your palm. Your palm should be forward, not backwards. Okay, next. Drop your hand down, good, good. Big finish. Don't pull. Ooh, nice. Good job. And look at he even puts a little fancy twist on it right there. Okay, around to the end, please. Good job. Okay. All right, position one. Quickly, you got three seconds. One 1,000. Two 1,000. That's not position one, that's position two. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Position two. Now go back to position two. You have three seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, and stop. Oh my gosh, that is not what I... <laughs> Who was married to him? Will you please, please raise your hand. <laughs> Nobody wants to claim him, huh? Okay, free to good home, comes with a dog, and he includes the picture of the dog. <laughs> okay, get in front of your dog, so the shoulders are square. There you go, good. Okay, position three. You have three seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, and stop. 
Good. Position four. You have three seconds. One one thousand. Two one thousand. And stop. Position four is in. You're in front of your dog. And no, 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 no. Get. You need to get. <laughs> Again, who is married to this man over here? Can you please raise your hand? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had divorced the last time. <laughs> Her palms are sweaty and she's ready to just go home. <laughs> That's okay, buddy. We're, we're men. They're females. Their brain is definitely higher than ours. So we have this learning curve. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, every that looks great, guys. Everybody up and praise your dogs. Okay, good job. Yeah, clap for them. Okay, so I want you to take your dog over here and free stack and explain something about your breed standard in relation to this dog. I like about this dog is he is very athletic. They are a herding breed. They are meant to go all day. This dog has a very natural, flowing, easy gait, which leaves little excess expenditure of energy so he can cover ground. He has the athleticism to be able to cut off sheep, move, the speed to catch up and stop them. I can see that. Okay, I'll give you that one. All the way around to the end. Give her a hand. Are you sweating or are you ready for this? Both. <laughs> okay, let's see you come over here and tell me something in relation to this dog and your breed standard. Uh, um, you have to read your standard, huh? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> you have to know your standard, so you, nobody at the dog show should know the standard better than you. Can you fake one part of the standard? They're athletic. Oh, okay. Now you said that like a question. Oh, they're athletic. There you go. <laughs> um, they have hair? <laughs> Four legs. That's good. Give him a hand. Okay, to the end. Okay. What's his first assignment on the way home? Read the standard. Okay. every <laughs> state. Yeah. Okay. Next. I'm surprised you guys are on your phones going, what's my standard? What's my standard? <laughs> okay, so tell me something about this dog in relation to the standard. Their coat can be wavy or straight and powerful. Okay. Uh, they're double coated. Uh, our standard says no minimal, no trimming. Okay. Minimal tidying, uh -uh, no sculpting, mm -hmm. daylight underneath the dog. Okay. And they come in four different colors. Nice. I can try. Ooh, give her a hand. Okay, around to the end. You're next. Okay. Okay. Up. 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 Okay. Up. <laughs> One of the things I like about this breed is it has agility in their standard about seven different times. Okay. They're very agile. Very speedy breed. Uh huh. Uh, supposed to be always black and mahogany. You're black and tan. You're supposed to always have those thumb prints, the black spots on their ankles, and then the pencil marks, which is the toes, stay. You're supposed to have a strong, state, stiff, state, tapered tail, single coated, smooth black, no patches of white. Uh, long, elegant neck, tapered, wedge-shaped head, single planes. Nice. With the appearance of a stop by the eyes. Okay, give her a big hand. Good. Okay. Next, please. Palm direction. Nope, you're telling your dog go underground. Look at me. If I want my dog forward, my palm is forward. If I want my dog to turn, I want my palm out. But you continuously walk like this all the time. Or like that. Yep. Okay. Palm should be forward if you're going forward. There you go. Okay. 
So free stack. Okay, so tell me something about this dog. And I love his top line. He has a nice short, hobby body. Nice triple tail that rolls around very nicely. Straight legs. Beautiful eyes. His eyes show no white. Uh, nice bite. Ears that are nice and uh, even with the line. Now, what do you mean by nice? What does nice mean? As far as the ears? Yeah. They're not too long. They don't hang down over past the eyes. Okay. Um, his bite is straight. He doesn't have, uh, he's not saying nice. He's uh, very even. Okay. Um, they come in two colors, fawn and black. Okay. The blacks are not supposed to have a lot of white. Um, okay. White on the chest, maybe a little bit uh -huh. possible, but not a whole bunch of white. Okay. A deep rich color. Uh, they love children. They're okay. Nice Good. All right. Give her a hand all the way around to the end. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> Drop your hand down. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, you, so you're telling the dog to sit. Yeah, I know. Okay, you got to say stay. So lean forward. Lean forward. Lean forward. Walk backwards. And stand. Okay. Now, this can stay low, and this is a stop sign. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now tell me something. Tell me, don't worry about that. Just tell me something about this dog in relation to the standard. So this is Bulldog. He um, he was designed for bull baiting originally. Uh huh. And they outlawed it in the 1850s. Um, he has got a broad front. He's got a narrow back. His head is sh a slope shaped. He's got rosebud ears. His snout is short to keep the bulls away from him. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, I love his. I love the way his front is. The way his back is. He's got a. Okay. When you say you love the way his front I, I, is. I, I, yeah, okay, not, yeah. Tell me about that. Um, his, his chest is broad. Um, his his back is narrow. Mm-hmm. Um, and why is that in a, a good? So that way they can look stout and they can pull. It's good good for pulling. So their original design was to pull on the on the on the uh, the bull. And so they have to have the, the, nar the narrow back and the, the broad front. Okay. All right. Give him a hand. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a test. <laughs> oh, there's always a test. <laughs> That's called marriage. <laughs> okay. So how do you guys feel you did with that? <laughs> room for improvement. I like that. Room for improvement. Yes. Now, you think about what we've learned in the past couple of days. There's a lot of information. If you get this dog's head straight, if you establish and maintain communication with the hands, if you stop using your eyes for contact, if you train these dogs on a loose lead, with a flat link collar, then you will get these dogs to do so much for you in the ring when they're trained. I mean, this dog has come a long way from the first time you handed her over and or I took her. <laughs> but there's a lot to learn here. You guys want to compete at that high level of competition, you can't go into this not knowing your standard. You can't go into this partially communicating with your dogs. You have to do everything perfect every single time. And anytime you're in the presence of these dogs, you are communicating. So if you're taking them potty, it's not time off. You're still palm this way if you're going that way. If you want your dog to turn this way, it's palm that way. It's still a long, loose lead. You know, anytime you tighten that lead, you're considered being rude to the dogs. And if somebody came over to you and they were leading you around and they put their hands on your throat like this, is that positive or negative? 
negative. And how many times would you let them put their hands on your throat before you said, I am not going to do this anymore? So when you're pulling them with that lead, that's in a sense what you're doing to your dogs right there. I'm, I will say that I'm very proud of what I've seen you guys go through and grow from yesterday to today. That's fantastic. This is little Lug. And Lug is four months old. And this is his first time in Fit Paws. So he's going to... Good boy. Can you come up here? Up. Good. Oh, good set. Good set. Okay, can you bring your feet down? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, meerkat. Good boy. Well, the first thing is to get him used to the equipment. Right now, there, he's just going after cookies and a lure. But, it's, but you want to do a controlled exercise. With puppies, you don't want to actually consider it exercise. You just want them to learn to put their front feet up. Good boy. Good boy. Come all the way up. A nice sit on top. Teaching them to use their muscles while they're playing. Basically, we're playing. We're teaching them play sit. sit. Good sit. Work them through. Get them used to and have confidence. Having confidence is probably one of the most important things. Good boy, sit. Oops, oops. Oh my gosh. And when they offer a really fun behavior, it's okay to treat them. Down. Step off. Good. Sit. Sit. Good sit. Up. A little hard to control puppies and being really nice and nice and controlled, but that's okay. We're not doing anything serious. Stand. Good. Sit. Stand. Down. Down. Nope. Okay, we can do that later. Okay, nice. Off. Off. Good. Good boy. Okay, let's come up here and play on this. Step up. Good. Well, that was very good. Obviously, he does have a lot of confidence. He doesn't mind. Oh, that was good. Okay, good boy. Can you stand? Good stand. You're not working the puppy. They're, you're, what you're doing is shaping, um, shaping their behavior, but keeping it under control. This is a big boned puppy. Uh, he's one that I would definitely not over exercise. If you see, he's got, he's got plenty of bone, but his joints are still way open. This is an uneven surface that you're basically trying to get him used to. Good, good. Nope, sit. Good. No. Nope. Sit. Good. Good boy. Oh, okay, let's go over here and see what we can do over here. Come here, Luglug. Can you come up? Well, he thinks those are quite fun. <laughs> Everything is fun. Come on, Luglug. Good boy. Sit. Okay, come here. Up. Come here. Sit. Good. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Uh, at this age, uh, four, four months old, we're, we're not really trying to build muscle tone or uh, get the puppy ready for anything. What we're trying to do is build confidence in different footing, different, uh, different equipment, diff being around different things, other dogs in the room, uh, just to try and build that confidence and build a relationship with them. For the future, uh, this dog will be shown, but for right now, we're just trying to uh, teach him how to learn, which is a really important thing. And the other thing is uh, get, get him started for when we want to start working on um, top lines, uh, muscling, uh, bottom lines, uh, gait, everything else. Then he has the basics to learn that. At an, at an easier rate.